Good morning, Edge. It's Kevin from the Edge of Hamden. Got a great workout for you today. Memorial Day weekend is right around the corner. It's in like two days. So good morning, got a fun time planned for you guys. We're gonna do a little uh, workout that's uh, in honor of a Navy SEAL that died named Murph. It's not exactly the Murph workout, but we have certain uh, available stuff at our house and we probably can't do pull-ups. So we're gonna make a little adjustment, but it's gonna be a blast. So grab your red, white, and blue. Take a quick selfie of you in your red, white, and blue outfit. Share that on the, the Instagrams, the lives, the Facebooks and all that. Uh, hit the share button down here with the little uh, triangle. Share today's workout with your friends and check it out uh, if they don't get on today. So again, welcome the Edge Burn class with me. A little different twist than usual. We're gonna do a nice 20 minute AMRAP. It's gonna be a blast. So as we're getting in, we're gonna get right into it. We'll start warming up a little bit, and I'll tell you a little bit about the history of what we're doing. So, let's start by marching! Stars and stripes forever! How's the music and the sound? Can you hear me? Can you hear? I don't really need to hear the music, but... Woo! Hear a nice orchestra to start the morning was the best way to go. Welcome. Alright, let's get some high kicks. Hope you guys are ready to rock. Alright, knee hugs. I'm gonna try to tan these thighs. Do it okay. Not amazing, but you know. Get the whole summer ahead of us. America! Got my blue shoes on. Stars and stripes. Red shirt. I couldn't find a good hat. I had the hat, but it wasn't perfect, so. Quad stretch and reach. Thank you. <laughs> Keep the quad stretches. <laughs> Alright, today's workout, it's uh, inspired by the Murph workout. If you have any friends that have ever done this thing called CrossFit, they're all going to be doing the exact Murph workout on Monday. I'm not going to go through exactly what that is. They'll tell you, or you can Google it. But we're going to do our own version of the Murph workout today in honor of Lieutenant Michael Murphy of Patchogue, New York, or Long Island. He uh, served as a Navy SEAL. He died in 2005 in Operation Red Wings in Afghanistan. So let's move into some squats. So uh, this is uh, this workout that we're going to do was named after him. And uh, we're going to do this in memory of him, or I'm gonna have you guys message in the comments who you wanna dedicate this Memorial Day workout to, whoever you know in their memory. All right, flow drill, arms up, fold in half, grab your toes, pull, walk it out. Oh, we already skipped a step. <laughs> Let's stretch out the calves next. Stretch out those calves. All right, now walk it back in. Stand. Arms up. Fold in half. Walk it out. Stretch out the calves again. Walk it back. And stand. One more time. Walk it out. Stretch out the calves. Walk it back in. And stand. All right. That's the warm up. Grab a quick drink. Woo! All right, I'm gonna change the music over for us. So, we're gonna do a five minute run 
I know it's ex exciting and scary at the same time, but we're doing it. And Michael Murphy's on there, so we're gonna do it, and we're gonna do it great. So we're gonna do a five minute run, run in place. If you uh, wanna run outside around the house, just be back in five minutes. Then we're gonna go through five sit-ups, then 10 push-ups, and then 15 air squats. And that's all you gotta remember. 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15. Same three exercises. It's gonna be repetitive, but you're gonna get really good at it. And each time your form's gonna get better and better and better, and you're gonna get stronger and stronger. And then we're gonna do that for 20 minutes. And then at the end of that 20 minutes, we're gonna do a five minute run and call it a day. So this class will be about 35 minutes total. If you wanna make this harder and longer, you can count up all your reps and you're supposed to do, well, it's supposed to be 100 pull-ups, but we're not doing any pull-ups, so you'll get it. Anyways, let's start our run. I'm gonna start the clock. Ready, set, go, run in place. I'm gonna change the music up a little bit. Bear with me. Where'd it go? There we go. Oh, we're halfway done with the run. Oh, there we go. American Woman. I don't know if you guys have ever heard this song. <laughs> Just jogging along. I was running. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. Less, less bright white legs. What are you guys doing for Memorial Day? Barbecuing, inviting anyone over, setting chairs up six feet apart. I think the weather is supposed to be nice on Monday. That'll be good. I'm gonna do this whole workout with you, so we're stuck together. Hit some hearts. You can run and text. We're killing it. This has been the best weather ever. I'm so so grateful for all the sun we've had. Gonna sit outside each day for a little bit. I did all my yard work yesterday. I mowed the lawn and pruned some trees and got rid of all the sticks. I tied Finley up to her lead and I connected her lead to my belt so that way she could get around the yard. This one, I'm she'll run down the street if she's not tied up. Then Jess gets mad because she has to go find her. I mean, Jess usually notices she's gone, but I do my best. Anyone running any 5Ks this weekend? Well, there's usually a lot of running events on holiday weekends. You guys will be running so far. We're like at a mile already. Not really, but we could be. Everyone excited for their three day weekend? <laughs> or Saturday again? <laughs> Some people have had Saturday every day for the last two months. Staying positive, can't change everything, but we just keep making the best of each day. Woo! We're almost there. 
All right, so as soon as we're done with this run, you're gonna move at your own pace. I'm gonna do my own pace. I'll just talk to you guys the whole time. So you're gonna do five sit-ups, then you're gonna flip over and do 10 push-ups. Could be any variety you want. I'm gonna do butterfly sit-ups, but if you can't do a full sit-up, then you can do crunches. And then push-ups, regular push-ups, or you can do kneeling push-ups, or you can do push-ups off the table, or even off the wall. I'm sure you've done a thousand push-ups since the quarantine started, because they're in every workout. And then squats, 15 squats, air squats. You might want to grab weight, don't bother. Just do more rounds. It's 20 minutes, so that 20 minutes is really gonna go by pretty fast. If you wanna keep track of your rounds, you can do that. But uh, yeah, so, and that's five minutes. So grab a drink. We're gonna start the 20 minutes here in a second. Bam, all right. Clock ready. Didn't want to put rock this or walk this way on while we were running. All right, so again, to review, five sit-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 squats. Repeat, 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 repeat. <laughs> All right, guys, let's <laughs> get ready. Heidi, great job. I know you're working on your posture. Memorial Day weekend is upon us. Let's do this for whoever you're dedicating this workout to or nobody, Michael Murphy, Navy SEAL, died in Operation Red Wings on, I think it was July, check. June, died in June 28th, 2005. End of the year, not the date. All right guys, clock's on. Let's start with those sit-ups. I brought an app mat today. One, two, again, you're moving at your own pace. Three. Oh, I did too many. Shucks. One. Ten push-ups. Now 15 squats. Get low. Woo! America, we love you. All right, that's 15. That's one round down. Going back to my sit-ups. I know some of you guys are probably beating me because I'm talking. No excuse. But excuses are like belly buttons. Everybody has one. Ah, fuck. Push ups. As you're doing these, make sure your form's not, not getting bad. So you're gonna fatigue, obviously, but <clears throat> make sure your, your form's not breaking down. We don't wanna compromise your posture or your back on the push-ups. Try not to bring your face to the floor. Not literally fall on the floor, although we don't want that either, but we don't want to uh, have our spine come out of alignment. And same with the squats. Keep those heels flat on the ground. Swing your hips back. Drive the hips forward at the top. Round two. I know you, you uh, parents that are homeschooling while your kids are singing this song, or at least looking forward to singing this song very soon. Ah, 
We're doing great. Back to those push-ups. Also, part of this workout, because you're moving at your own pace, anytime you need a drink or a break, just take it. You're on the clock, so take your break and then get back into it as soon as you can. No, nope. you're not in trouble. While you take a break, hit those, hit those little hearts over there and share this workout so that way your friends can also participate in the American fun. One sad thing, obviously lots of sadness has come from the coronavirus, but as a longtime lacrosse player and lacrosse fan, there won't be any uh, NCAA Final Four lacrosse this weekend. It's only a little weird, but it's uh, the nature of, of the times these days. Thank you, Stacey Stacey, get back to work! All this messaging, more sledding. I'm gonna really try to work on my thigh tan for 4th of July. That way, when the shorts come back, I got a nice upper thigh tan. I got stuck on barbed wire, but it's just like a vent now. Just in case I get too high, I get a little breeze. Ugh. We're doing it! check we're uh, six minutes in so that's over 25 percent we're killing it oh my god squats Whew. i'm reading this book forget the name of it oh how bad do you want it it's about uh, endurance runners or endurance racing and how you're your mind fatigues before your body. So if I said sprint from here to under the block, you wouldn't give up because your legs are too tired. You'd give up because your mind was too tired. And it really like, it makes you think, haha, pun intended, but it's the psychology of your, your mind shutting your body down, not your body shutting your body down. It's crazy like to think how much more we're capable of than we actually think we are. Oh. One of the studies they did, they had uh, they had athletes. Um, they did like a baseline test where they had them come in one day and then run a certain amount of distance, 
for time. And then they had them come back like a week later and do a very hard mental assignment. I don't know exactly what they had them do, but just think of something that's very mentally taxing and then go out and do that same run again. And their times plummeted. They gave up way faster because their minds were fried. Obviously they didn't use their legs while they were doing that mental assignment, but their minds shut them down faster than in the baseline test. That's not to say your body's not improving its conditioning, but the thing is that the more you put yourself through like tough physical challenges, the tougher your mind gets. They call it mental fitness. And then mentally, you don't give up as early because your mental stamina is increased. So um, you tend to la you'll last longer because your perceived rate of effort goes down. So say you, you run a 10 minute mile for example, and you feel like you're gonna die at the end, and the whole time for that matter, but you run as hard as you can, you get a 10 minute mile. It's because your mind is only conditioned for that 10 minute mile, but if you, you train properly, and you do that after a period of training, you can run the same 10 minute mile where your perceived rate of exertion was a 10, like max, and then you train and you do it again, and your perceived rate of exertion might only be like a seven. So yeah, you got conditioned. You got, um, you got better physically, but mentally, that perception of difficulty decreased from maximum down to pretty hard. It's not gonna be like pretty easy. I mean, it can't be eventually if you practice, but your perception is just like any other, this is like a life lesson too. <laughs> Your perception determines so much of the difficulty of the situation. So I'm really excited to keep reading this book. Now I'm in a race against myself because today's Thursday the, the 20th, I think. And on the 30th in 10 days, I'm running a 12 hour race. I know that's crazy, but I did the same exact race six, five weeks ago, and I only got 55 miles, which is like two marathons, but I didn't train before that. I mean, I was in shape, but I wasn't in 12 hour running shape, you know? So now I've been training exclusively for this for the last five weeks, and it'll be six, and my rate of perceived exertion is going down, and I'm really excited to see how much I can do based on my my training, um, and um, my goal now is it was, I hit 55 miles. My goal now is 75, which is a third marathon in the same 12-hour window. And it sounds crazy, but in my training, looking at my splits and how long it takes me to run one mile. I've really been tinkering with some nutritional things, like what's the best thing I should have for breakfast, how much breakfast, so I can go out and feel like my gas tank's full of and I'm not sloshing around food. How to hydrate properly, because when I ran the last race, it was snowing, so it's cold. Now you know how hot and humid it's been. So hydration's huge too. And if you get dehydrated, obviously your body's gonna slow you down to protect you, keep you alive. So I've been tinkering with some electrolyte solutions and calories while running. And I've even had Jess ride her bike along with me when I'm doing some of my long runs, just so I have a conversation and balance ideas off of her. So really excited. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna plan on running the canal trail from Cheshire to Yale and then back to Southington and then back towards Yale and I don't know how many laps that's gonna be 
next Saturday, but next Saturday, if you see a big gorilla running down the canal trail during the day, that's me. Feel free to say hi. I'll probably have Jess with me because that seems to be good for my mental endurance. You know, you have someone you know, love, and trust right there with you. And I'm really excited to push my limits and test myself and see what I'm capable of, you know? And that's why I'm excited to read more of this book, figure out more mental tips and tricks to keep myself from giving up, keep myself from stopping. Now, I know I've done enough of this kind of stuff where I'm not just gonna give up and like, ah, oh, throw in the towel and go home. I'm gonna keep going, but the more time I walk, the less miles I accumulate in the same amount of time. So the less breaks I can take, the farther I'll get. Oh, sorry, just checking. All right, if you're keep going, keep going. Um, I'm just, you're counting on your own. So you're doing five sit-ups, then you're doing 10 push-ups, and then 15 air squats. At your pace, we're going for 20 minutes. So we're 14 minutes in. So we have six more minutes of this. Then we finish, we're gonna do a five minute run together. Um, so that answers your question. I apologize for not catching a little earlier. Thanks, Emily. Um, so we got about five minutes left. So keep going. You wanna go as fast as you can and get through. I'm talking the whole time, so I'm dogging it a little bit, but trying to keep the conversation going with you guys. So that way it's not go work out and call me in an hour. <laughs> yeah, where was I? Squats. All right, three. 15 squats. So, it's been fun. Obviously, I gotta eat a lot. My coach is like, you better eat more food. You're not eating enough. I'm worried about you. <laughs> I'm like, well, if I'm, if I'm burning 3,000 calories just in my run, not including the rest of the day, then uh, I'm shoveling down rice and beans like every moment I'm not working out. Tons of oatmeal, loving oatmeal and fresh fruit. A little, like half scoop of protein powder in there. Gotta get some protein too. But fortunately, my body's holding up. I've, if you follow me on Instagram, I've, I've already run significantly more miles this month than I've ever run in any month ever in my whole life. And if I finish my training program for this week, and then I do what I have to do next week and then race and achieve almost what I want. I will almost have doubled my biggest month of my entire life of running. Which, when you're new and you beat your best, it's really exciting, but it's not that hard. As you get more time into this, and say, say your most push-ups you've ever done in a row, 10 and then you work really hard and then you get up to 12. Well, yeah, getting those two extras feels great. But if you've been doing push-ups for five years, 10 years, and you did 50 in a row, and you're trying to get like 52, that 52 takes so much more out of you and it's so much harder. And it's not about comparing me to you or me to anybody. It's just about comparing me to the guy in the mirror because that's the only competitor I really have to worry about. As I just said with that book, it's not about anything more than beating your mind and your own, like, today. How good are you today? How much better can you be tomorrow? If you consistently beat yourself and you have that healthy competition with the person in the mirror, you're gonna get so much better in a period of time of just those little wins, say, in five years, you won't even recognize the person you see in the mirror. There are so many people doing this workout right now that I know from the Hamden Edge. I didn't know them five years ago. I know them maybe for a year or two years or maybe even almost three. And I knew them that day. And even they are so different from the day I met them. But then I look at where they came from, at their they're like before pictures. And I'm like, who's that? Is that your sister or your brother? Or who is that? That's not you. And like, no, that's that was me five years ago. I'm like, holy crap. If you're not proud of yourself, like 
there's something wrong with you. You gotta look back at that. Know where you came from. We're, first of all, we're never gonna be where we think we should be. So that's only gonna get you down. But if we compare where we are today to where we were yesterday and where we're going, then that's what's gonna motivate us to keep going. That is what's gonna bring the energy we need to get out of bed each morning. Not because the, the, the woman or the guy at the gym is beating us in all the exercises. Who cares about that person? You don't know what their story is. You don't know what they've gone through. You don't know that they've been doing this twice as long and they're only slightly ahead of you. You don't know what they got going on at home. They could be super strong and fit, but if mentally they're out of it because they had a fight with their kids or their spouse this morning and they're just not in it, First of all, props to them for showing up to the gym, but second of all, everybody's situation is completely different. We can't compare apples to apples. It's impossible. No one walked in your shoes the same amount of years as you, so there's really no comparison, except for you to the person in the mirror. So, uh, almost done. But, so that's the tip of the day. Look in the mirror after this workout and go check out your biggest competitor. And you are here, so you won today. How are you gonna win tomorrow? And uplift others along the way. I love being in class and seeing a new person walk in and they're skittish and, sh and, and scared because they don't know anybody. And then certain people just magnet to them and like, hey, welcome, we love you, we'll teach you everything you need, don't worry, you're in good hands. I'm like, that's awesome, that's a community that the world needs. If everybody was like that in every situation, the world would be a much better place. So three, two, one, and rest. Grab a quick drink and we're gonna run. We already did this stuff. <sighs> if you're having issues with getting exactly where you want, you talk to someone else who's really good at it. Um, you could DM me, I'll talk to you. Uh, but. Yeah, find an expert in the area you want to improve in. Learn from them. Don't compare yourself to them, but learn from them. They know the secrets, they've been through the experience. They're not speaking from, from uh, theory, they're speaking from actual knowledge. All right guys, we gotta get this run started. Right as the mailman's coming up my driveway, because he loves to pop in during our Thursday morning classes and look through my big bay window and think I'm crazy. Wait till he sees the shorts, he might turn around. He's got a big newspaper today. Probably a little ads. Wonder if there's any envelopes in there or anything good. Woo! Guys, you killed it today. Super simple, but really hard. Look, I was talking the whole time, sweating my butt off. I know if you did half of what you could up there, you, you got a good workout. So, keep it up on our nice little run. We're doing great. I took Finley out for a walk yesterday to the gas station. She licked up the gas that spilled and then she started running around in a circle and then she got faster and faster. And if you know Finley, she never slows down. She just, she like to energize her bunny. She just kept going. I'm like, I've never seen her go this fast. And she's going and going and going and going. I'm like, oh my God, is she gonna throw up? And all of a sudden she just keeled over. She ran out of gas. I didn't think it was possible. I'm just kidding, she didn't actually lick the gas. I tied her up to a tree, away from the gas pump. We had to get gas through the lawnmower. But I'm sure some of you guys are like, oh my God, you want the dog with gas? <laughs> gotcha. Anyways, we're almost there. About three minutes of this run left, nice and easy. You can run fast if you want. If you ever take a Matt Hannon's class, he does foot fires to finish every class. If you can do five minutes of foot fires, then you're better person than me. But again, we're not comparing. We're not comparing. But you guys are doing great. Just want to say hi to the fans. No pressure. Remember, take a sweaty selfie afterwards. Tag the Edge Fitness Clubs in it. You can tag me too. Bubbles the Clown, sound it out. Jess, you're here. Thanks, Jess. Welcome. <laughs> her her morning meetings with her kids are 
are going longer because the school year is almost over. So she she wishes she could be in more of our workouts, but soon enough she'll be back. And Finley's outside today, so <laughs> I'll bring her back next week. Whew. This is great. Just jogging right along. La -di -da. What else? Sweaty selfies, dedication, Lieutenant Michael Murphy. If you want to see what the real Murph workout is, just Google it, Murph workout. Um, this rendition was great. It fit what we had the ability to do here perfectly. But if you want to see what the, the official Murph workout is, Google it, and then when your head explodes, then next year, we're going to train for it for 365 days. I'm just kidding, if you want to. But it's it's a it's a tough challenge and I'm pretty in shape and it kicks my butt. I've only finished it in under an hour once and I knew we weren't gonna be on here for long enough for everybody to do everything. So I'm like, this is perfect. This gives you a nice little taste. Learn a little of the history. Alright, minute and a half left. Home stretch. After this, we're gonna run to the kitchen and grab some aminos, chug them down. I'm starting to run low on my aminos, so I'm gonna hop on dotfit.com today and order some more. If, uh, if you don't have a login, I think it, you just create one, it's pretty easy, but there's 20% off because of quarantine, so it's the same discount you get for Edge Challenge kickoff. Uh, Finley made it! I'll, sh I'll let you smile and wave to them when we finish our run. In 35 seconds. Guys, I appreciate all of you hopping on here live. I know more and more people are not doing the live. They're just watching the replay. But I appreciate you guys getting on here while I'm working out in my house. You're working out of your house. You're contributing in the messages. You're telling your friends. You're sharing the video, which are going to be stored in Instagram TV now or IGTV. Uh, the Instagram update or something. So little different way to find it but I think it might be easier um, yeah but take that sweaty American flag or American whatever selfie share that on the gram tag the, the edge fitness clubs some of you guys tag me you can I'm happy I'll regram you and shine some light on you like a diamond all right that's it let's uh, grab some water and we're gonna stretch Phew, guys we did it Steph, great job killing all those push-ups. Chipping. Uh, yeah, well, the, it is a little bit, but the uh, the discount offsets it. So I guess you're not really at square one, but it's better than nothing. But ah, Finley, say hi. All right, guys, let's, let's do a little uh, thoracic spine stretch, though. One leg straight, then this leg crosses over, and then I'm just gonna rotate. Twist, sit tall, breathe in your nose, breathe out, rotate away. Finley, say hi. Hey, plenty of sweat for you to lick. Finley, say hi. Look, all your fans. <laughs> Since Finley has one white paw and the rest are black, uh, we don't drink, but we happen to have a white claw. You know, those bubbly alcoholic beverages. They gave them out for free at one of the races we did, and the sealed can made it home somehow. So we propped Finley up with the white claw can and her white paw around it, and then we tagged white claw. I don't know if they regrammed it, but we got a lot of likes on our page. <laughs> we didn't let her drink it, don't worry. No animal cruelty. All right, one more breath in, breathe out, push away. Let's lay on our side, we're gonna stretch the quad. So keep your knees aligned, and then push your hips forward. So push your hips forward, pull your heel to your butt, we'll shut up the quads. All right, switch sides, roll over. Oh, it's my wider side. When I'm outside, I usually don't lay on my stomach. I move around and stuff. 
so the sun doesn't really get to my my hamstrings. I know, I'm weird. Whew. Keep stretching that out. Ah. Let's see what someone said. Yes, the Milford Edge, I've been there. <laughs> I don't know who runs that, but I ran the Murph workout for everybody at, at an exclusive on Memorial Day last year at Hamden. Hands down, hips down, chest up. It's a fun, like, exclusive class because everybody, if you do it, like, as it's written, everybody kind of goes at their own pace, but then you, like, tally how many reps you get and how many sets you get, and the crazies get to wear a weight vest, and then, uh, and by crazies, I just mean the people that don't think it's hard enough and want to kick their butt even more. <laughs> 100 pull-ups is hard enough. You don't need to I mean, necessarily add 20 pounds to you. <laughs> All right, uh, child's pose. Last stretch, me kid. All right, thanks for tuning in. Share this workout. Tell your friends, have an awesome Memorial Day. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Eat lots of vegetables. Keep your alcohol consumption to a minimum. Drink lots of water, stay hydrated, hands in. Uh, class on Monday, I believe so, but the, the Edge will post the uh, schedule. So I'm sure there's gonna be something. I don't know the times, um, but check that out stuff. All right, hands in. Edge on, or strong on three. One, two, three, strong.